Now, normally, I always try to kill myself in the gulag so I don't have to spectate the guy who accidentally died in Verdance. But today, I'm going to let him kill me and we're going to see what he actually does. Because sometimes you'll get some of these sweaties that accidentally die at Superstore or whatnot. Just toy with him. Just toy with him a little bit, bro. Oh, no, I don't want to die to this guy. Oh, no, I do not. Oh, no, I do not. I'm sorry. Did you see his aim? Do you really want me to spectate that kid? Oh, hell no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are spectating our first team of the day. We have a quads match going on and a team that is looting this area here. We have enough money for a loadout. We have a buy station marked relatively close. We do have a bounty at array two that could collapse to us. So we should probably start moving the hell out. Good old orange is gonna sit here and loot every freaking building that he can. And again, guys, this is shit you don't wanna do. When you have your money, get out. Not, not to mention, we have enough money for a loadout and a UAV. Fire loadouts are hunting down UAVs. We have a UAV in the air right now as well. And we know where the bounty's at. So let's go ahead and hurry the fuck up. What are you doing? What what in the hell made him think he could actually squeeze through there and ramp that bitch? Nothing. Got a ping right there. Now you got to decide where you want to go. Do you want to chase down the ping that's out in the open? Or do you want to go ahead and hunt the bounty? All right. We got two people marking. They want to go here. And instead, we're going to go over to orange. I'm sorry, green. I'm colorblind. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. So green goes here first. And he's waiting for all three of our, our other squad mates. And by the time they actually make it to him, he finally decides to go to the loadout drop. Why didn't he just go there initially? Now we have this huge delay to actually push this bounty. The chance of us actually pushing and killing this bounty on time is getting smaller and smaller. The window opportunity is closing and green is literally just so far behind. This is how people get picked. This is how people get, uh, get mad at their team. Oh my God, you guys left me. No dipshit, Dickerson. Your ass is sitting in a building just doing nothing while your whole team is getting a loadout drop. Pay attention to the damn mini map. Pay attention, man. There's no reason for this at all. All right, kind of a questionable loadout, not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of using the uh, a long range build on a rifle with a sniper rifle combo. I'm not, I'm not against using an assault rifle with a sniper, but you gotta have some kind of a medium close range build. If he gets to a close range situation, he's probably gonna get absolutely fucking destroyed. Here we have a dude heart beating despite the fact that Blue's in the middle of shooting at someone. No pings going out, by the way. This guy heart beating out in the open. Again, two, two times we've seen a heartbeat used completely incorrectly you know he's under you bro kill him come on oh there we go third time hell yeah oh, oh my god savage i wonder where he's at not to mention we don't know where his teammates are there might be a teammate in this building next to us and because we're sitting here on top of the roof just heart beating <laughs> we can get sniped in the face one more heartbeat what do you think chat one more one more oh there it is oh yeah all right, finally, Blue going in. We should probably go in with him so Blue doesn't get picked by himself. He does get picked, and because we go for the execute, he's dead, bro. Because we went for the execute, we almost lost our teammate. Now, talking about the enemy squad. Why the hell were two guys sitting in the same damn corner? Why was anybody sitting in the corner? But if you're going to corner camp, why are y'all sitting in the same ones? If, if y'all have been camping in the left-hand corner, the right-hand corner, the moment anyone busted through the door, y'all could have just shot him from both ways. It's going to be very hard for anyone to literally snap to the left and instantly snap to the right to down both y'all. So if you're gonna camp, and I hate giving tips to camp, but if you're gonna camp, camp separately, man. All right, here we have Sue. I think he's looking at his map right now. That's exactly what he's doing. We got two pings coming up here. Instantly move out. Let's go to Avola real quick. Let's see what the hell he's about to do. Now these guys are at the disadvantage right now. You have this guy on the downslope, this guy right here, and we do have a nice ridge. We need to go ahead and push up. Why were we sitting here waiting for the enemies to run away from us? Shoot them while in the open. The longer we sit here and wait, the more opportunity they have to make it to TV station. They could have already been wise. We could be moving on to the team that's sitting here on the four-wheeler. And here, here we go. Oh, weird, the team's safe. Again, guys, when you have an enemy squad on the UAV, that's in a terrible spot. They're on the low ground, they're by themselves, they're separated. You need to start picking them off. Stop allowing the enemy team to get safe because y'all are just, uh, I don't know what to do. Stop being hesitant. Go with your move. Like anything in life, go with your move. We do have the four-wheeler above us as well. It's signified red, so probably glitched, but we know there's a team up there, or at least a player. 
So we got to be careful. We're sitting here now on the downslope trying to fight TV station that's already safe. And we do have this enemy team behind us that could shoot down on us. So either A, go get the kids that are at the four-wheeler, or B, push these guys. But sitting here playing this tit-for-tat bullshit is not going to work. They're shooting us through windows. Again, even if we get a knock, what's going to happen? They're going to get rezzed! We can't close this gap. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the move right here. And miss. Aim at there you go. There you go. Oh, I thought I was going to get it. Come on, baby. I believe in you. Now, whoever's vehicle is parked up here, they definitely should be shooting us in the back right now. 100%. So what are we what are we witnessing right now, guys? What are we witnessing? Lack of game plan. <laughs> These guys have no idea what they want to do. Every time they make a decision, they second guess themselves. And I mean, look at the vehicle, bro. The vehicle literally just drove around and parked on the back side of the building. So we know that there's enemies below us as well. There may be one guy up here, but I highly doubt it. Big Bertha pulling out. Hopefully we can jump off and get some fights going on. Getting sniped from <laughs> that. I believe this guy is the one that was on the ATV over here as well. What do I always say? When your fight's fast and efficiently, get them taken care of because the longer the fights take, the more that you're shooting suppressed shots, the more enemies, other teams will hear it and come converge on you. So like I said, we had us versus TV station because it was a long drawn out tit for tat. A, the guy in the four wheeler ended up shooting us in the back. A whole nother big Bertha pulled up. So now we have like a third party, fourth party situation going on and we're getting knocked out one by one. The moment, going back to the beginning, the moment we saw that team out in the open by themselves, we instantly should have made a decision and killed them. This fight would have been won and we could have moved on out. Not sure exactly what's happening now. Oh, here we have a Vola in the Gulag. Taking shots, missing every one of them, trying his best to snap. Sensitivity super high right now, but it doesn't help him at all. Again, guys, you do not want to just have high sensitivity because you think it's good. You have to have the aim and accuracy to match it. Luckily, uh, don't, don't shoot his body, bro. We just saw what happened. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. All right, two of us coming back in right now. We do have our loot and a free loadout right there. I'd probably make my way to the free loadout drop, but it wouldn't be much better because you do have the rooftop sitting there with a perfect, beautiful angle. Not to mention, you also have a great gatekeeping position. So there will probably be teams sitting here waiting for people like us to go get our loadout. Got to make a decision. You want to go back on the rooftop of TV station or land for your loadout. Either way, I don't know if this is going to be a good option if there is a team up on these rooftops, which it looks like there is, judging by the gunfire. Get in, get out. There we go. And let's move on out. We got real lucky. So when we were flying down, we noticed there were tracers being shot from this compound to this building. So it leads me to believe that there are enemies on top of our building. Let's see if Avola paid attention when they were floating back down or not. Now, when you're going in a building like this, I always recommend wh whip out your close range weapon. Okay. So no one is up here. No one even was up here. I don't know what the hell that compound was shooting at when they were shooting at this building, but it looks to be clear. Box was not open. Dead silence was available. All right, now taking the knowledge we had falling in, even though there wasn't a team here, again, we, sh we saw shots at the compound to our right-hand side. And if we want to figure out where to go, that'd be a great spot. Now, a lot of people in their head, they're thinking this is a great gatekeeping position against this, this area here, and it is. The problem is, the longer we sit here and stare at TV station, our entire backside is exposed to everything. Downtown, stadium, the compound we're in. It's not really a good spot to sit there and camp. His skin just changed as he's crawling the ladder. Did y'all see that shit? And also, when you're sitting on a building like this, get different positions. One of us needs to be on the rooftop in front of us so we can shoot at the enemies from different angles. So if there's an enemy coming at us from TV station and he hides behind a rock protecting himself from this building, we can be at another building with another squad mate and they can shoot him at a whole different angle. Lo and behold, weird. There's an enemy squad here. Who would have thought that? Weirdest shit in the world. Oh my god, this gives me anxiety. I swear, the moment that I stop moving, I get sniped in the face. But these guys here, they can literally sit here, do a whole strip tease, take their clothes off, throw it in the air, 
hula hoop and shit, and nobody shoots them. Nobody. We have 73 players still up, and it's a relatively big ass circle. At least clear the area you're at. All right, let's go. Let's go to his homeboy, who's actually trying to fight somebody. Now we need to take we need to take these guys out fast because when the circle collapses, it's gonna rotate somewhere to the south. And when it does that, us and the enemy team over here, we're all gonna have to go ahead and roll out. Now the enemy team has the advantage because they have a vehicle. They got a Bertha, right? So if they get in the Bertha to drive away, we don't have to worry about it too much unless they go ahead, park up, and gatekeep us. They know we're here. They have the advantage on that situation. So again. I like the gatekeeping idea. This is too much. This is way too long. Let's move on out. Let's do something different. Let's go push the squad and take them out and or go ahead and rotate to a different position. We're overstaying our welcome by a long shot. We've been here for at least five minutes. And strategy wise, this is an absolute clusterfuck. And another situation we see, he doesn't need anything. He's got enough ammo to get some fights won. And here we are just literally looting every single building, looking at every piece of equipment. Look at this. Oh, let me get sniper bullets. Hell yeah, I don't even have a sniper, but I want those anyway. Oh, more ammo, and let's go. And they'll probably do the same thing at bank. Now, I get DMs all the time. People like, Savage, I can never find players. That's because you don't want to find players. Y'all do shit like this. You got to get out there and look. We know where players are at. We know there's a team right there. Let's go there and hunt them bitches down. Oh, weird, there's a ping. Who would have thought? We know that there's players here. We know that there's going to be players at hospital. We know there's going to be players at hangars and the apartment buildings as well, as well as train stations. Just go to the most popular areas and you'll find players. The amount of people that DM me saying I can only get two or three kills a game because I have trouble finding players is just mind blowing. Again, just get out there. Y'all let the fear dictate how your play style and it's just not the way to play the game. All right, luckily they did rotate early so that these guys didn't have to contest us, but we could gatekeep these guys possibly. Now, if you guys want a more aggressive, more fun gameplay, get out of this area. This is just gonna be very, very slow. You going back and forth stadium and shit like that. No bueno. We got a most wanted bounty there we can hunt down. We can buy back two of our teammates. And we got a fuck ton of bounties we can grab as well. I don't, I don't know if it's, if I'm just ADD or not, but gameplay like this is, I, I just want to get out there. I want to get out there and see people shoot people. I don't want to, oh God, please, let's not camp on top of this building. Please, God, no. Don't do it to me. Come on, sir. Don't do it to me, brother. All right. Hang on one second. His mom's screaming at him to clean his room. Billy, clean your room as your chores before you play the game. Uh, he's he's done for going to Kagan right now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sneak energy fire, by the way. Guys, if y'all want to play better than this, try sneak energy. Shit's cracked out. A new cola flavors fire too. I promise. I thought it was gonna taste like shit, not gonna lie. Cola flavors usually suck, but this was actually really good. Really good. Right, and we're going back the direction we came from. Now, I get they need loot, but the door's being open. It's already looted. You're not going to find anything. The only thing you're going to find are weapons that other people didn't want. No ammo, no money, no plates, no shit. No idea what the hell happened to Saw. Why didn't he land on loadout? Loadout's way out of zone, and there was an enemy team here. I think that's why he avoided it. I don't think it was a bad idea. So what do you do? You're in a position, you, ha you have no weapons, you don't know where players are at, and we're getting to end game situation. Now, you've got to pick a fight fast and get the weapons off those dead bodies. You have two teammates that still have their loadouts. They gotta be the team leader. They gotta go out there, get a bounty, and hunt a bitch down and kill the squad for y'all. And y'all can help, of course, with your PPSH and shit like that. Good luck. Hey, look, bounty's weird! But we gotta kill another squad so we can get loadout. The last thing you wanna do is get to end game situation because you're playing scared and super passive, hiding on a rooftop. And it's literally a 4v4. They have full loadouts. And we have, again, a PPSH. And our other teammates got, like, a fucking battle axe or some shit. They know what to do. They're just taking a very long time to get it done. Alright, but it's going to be a downtown ending for sure. 
However, we can always gatekeep people coming from hospital. We can go over there and fight people at hospital, although I'm not a fan of pushing yourself towards the edge of the zone when you have this wide open ravine, of course. Um, but just play around downtown. Sitting in the same spot is not going to find any action. It's going to be the slow gameplay, the chance of catching an enemy in the open and getting the kill. It's possible, but it's very slim because of how much cover there is, how much concealment there is, the fact that there's buildings and doorways and other shit. Look how he's just sitting here in the window. Just sitting, staring at nothing. Zone's closing in. Nobody yet. All right, let's move on to the next guy. See what he's doing. We got an LMG. <laughs> All right, we're not going to spectate that. Great ping by a teammate. Unfortunately, doesn't get the headshot, and that's my issue with the Swiss. The Swiss, everyone loves the Swiss, bro, but every time I shoot him in the fucking head, I get an armor break. I can feel his pain. I can 100% feel his pain. Swiss is a giant pile of shit. Don't at me. Car 98 over the Swiss all fucking day long. Here we go. Finally moving in. Now, it looks like they're... they're it looks like what they want to do is actually play the edge. Wherever the circle goes, they just go to the edge and they sit. Now, look. There's a huge, huge misconception about the pinwheel motion, right? I know, I know a lot of YouTubers put videos out when the game first came out talking about the pinwheel, but what they didn't tell you is it's not meant for everyone. It's not meant for every play style. The pinwheel strategy is not just camping the edge of the circle um, and doing nothing. The pinwheel strategy is taking out teams that do this, right? Playing the edge is not a strategy. Going around fucking teams up that do this, that's the strategy. We have a lot of footsteps around us. Could be enemies above us, and I think there is. Yeah, 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 for sure. Closing the door above us right now. We got at least three footsteps. Here's the heartbeat sensor. We don't need it. We know they're there. So what do you do in this situation? Here we are crouch walking. Now they know we're here. They know we're here. They closed the door. They were getting ready. They heard of footsteps. We got two people crouch walking. The guy behind us is flopping his big ass flippers. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Hell yeah. We almost killed him. All right, trying to, that's a smoke grenade. That's questionable. Able to get a crack. Can we get an armor break? Absolutely not. What we should have done is all together just bust out that fucking door and try to press out play the situation. We probably would lose. Pushing rooftops like this is damn near impossible. But sitting in here on the staircase, usually nine times out of ten does not fucking work. Except for this time here. Homeboy got caught up in a reload and we ended up winning the fight. I'm very surprised. I'm actually extremely surprised. But the moment their first teammate got knocked, they all just coming in one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. And it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Now, the reason why we knew he was there, again, he's just sitting in a scope. We saw the glint, instantly snapped on, and we were able to get the armor break. All right, here we are. Getting a little aggro. Getting shot by another enemy behind us on the ground level. He also has ghosts, so we got to be aware of that. And homeboy's above us too floating. We might be able to just take a pop shot up there. He thinks he's down there, but dude, there's an up arrow above. The blip, bro. Actually, there might be a guy laying there. I don't think there is, though. I think, I think the guy's definitely in the sky. Or at least at one point he was. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Look at him float. Look at him float. Hell yeah, Mary Poppins. There you go. How did he not die? Dude falls 40 feet after being knocked and doesn't, doesn't die. Wow. Great snap, bro. Good shit, man. But don't don't forget the other homeboys behind you, too. There were two players on ground level. Here's footsteps to our left hand, right hand side now, going around the side. Trying our best to outshoot the enemy, outplaying with movement. It's just not looking like it's going to work, but it does. Weird. So weird. All right. Now, I was wrong about the circle. I thought for sure it was going to favor downtown, but it actually flip flopped over to the farmland area and, and port. This is going to be interesting. Um, we're probably going to die. There are only five enemy teams left, so that's kind of a positive. We don't have to worry about that many teams shooting at us at the same time, but there's going to be a team already in the port area waiting for us to get in this wide open area and probably try their best to gatekeep us. Meanwhile, we also have to worry about two or three other squads sitting downtown trying to go with the same position, trying to make their way across this open ass ravine. UAV, in my opinion, is probably your best bet to buy right now. Unfortunately, not a single person buys one. We need to know as best to our ability where everyone's at. Granted, ghosts and things like that, I get it. But the amount of people coming back from the gulag, the amount of people that don't have ghosts on right now, it's possible. If you find one ping over here, you know there's probably a whole team that direction. And you can make your moves accordingly. Now, Light Blue's making his way across, trying his best to push under the bridge and push over to the buy station. Port's also being engaged by another squad over here as well. You can hear the suppressed shots off. We need to go ahead and just rotate. 
Don't worry about fighting. Don't worry about none of this. We keep going back and forth, back and forth, playing this quote unquote head glitch. We need to hurry up, man. Let's go. Oh my God, the gas hit and it hurts. Holy shit. What are we doing? What are we do? just run, bro? Just run, dude. What are you doing? Oh my God. So light blue had the best idea of playing the bridge and, and getting safe. These guys here sit in the middle of an open ravine with no cover, ADS and un ADS and switching weapons, ADS and un ADS and getting hit by gas, going back out. Re like what, the, what are you doing, man? No, you're out in the open. Guys, don't challenge enemies when you're out in the open, especially when you pissed off the guys at port and you're trying to piss off the guys rotating with you. You literally, the, the players like this are always screaming. I get third party all the time. You get third party all the time because y'all y'all pick these fights with everyone on the map and you don't kill nobody. That's why you get third party. This is exactly the reason. All right, three teams left, nine enemies remain. It is a two v four v three situation possibly. Dude, Racy coming in, just fucking teabagging him mid air, just barrel stuffing the shit out of him. RPGs going off from the gas station area. See how this team collapses. It could be a, it's four v four. 4v4 situation. Again, we're in a bad spot. We need to rotate. Thankfully, the guys at gas station, they don't seem that confident because they're just spamming RPGs. I'd be pretty confident to say Racy's probably going to go ahead and uh, win the game, even though we're in the worst position. Oh, God. Glint to your left-hand side in the window. You saw it, bro. Glint in the window of the gas station, fam. Oh, my God. He didn't see it. Good shots. The C58 fucking absolutely beaming the enemy. We need to get safe, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have a 4v2 situation with the enemy team camping inside gas station. I don't know how they're allowing us to push this close. Now a 1v4. Let's see if Racy can do it. We got 17 kills right now. The movement is on point right now. We need to go ahead and push ourselves closer to the to the gas station. Never mind. This guy's way the hell out here. There's one pick. Another one over there as well. Guy pushing us close range. Can we take it? Second shot. Going back to cover. Trying to rip on the right side. We got an enemy pushing the right hand as well. And we almost... Almost are able to solidify a second kill and maybe, maybe, just maybe take out the last two guys on the right-hand side. Great effort by Lacey. 1v4 situation. What are you going to do? He tried his best, bro. He played his ass off. He played his ass off. You got to give him credit, man. You got to. Now, again, because of that bad position they were in, having to cross the ravine, they had to, again, contest the guys at, at uh, the gas station who were already positioned up, ready to go. Now, what that squad should have done was they should have assisted Lacey. Let Lacey get his knocks and picks. Stop challenging them one at a time, challenge together, and then maybe they wouldn't have been picked off one at a time. It could have been a 4v4 fight, and they could have just collapsed and maybe won the game. 